Alrighty, good morning everybody. It's a fabulous Tuesday morning. I was sitting here wondering what I was going to be sharing with you today and looking for some guidance and direction. And I thought I might share with you one of the techniques that I've been using to help a lot of the women I'm working with and also my children. And it's, it's a way of moving the emotion in a visual way. It has been working phenomenal. And tr try this out. Okay, I want you to imagine whatever emotion you're feeling. And with that emotion, it's been trapped inside of you for a while. And with it being trapped inside of you, it's been creating some different problems, some headaches maybe, some back pains, what have you. But let's just say that that feeling. So that's the first part, is to identify where it's located. And you can do this by just asking yourself, okay, where is this located? Close your eyes and imagine it being located somewhere. So we're going to say that the first is location. Where is it being located at? However, sometimes you can feel it, this same feeling. Maybe it's anger, hurt, frustration, you know, any feeling, whatever. Maybe it's spread throughout your body and that's what you realize. It's like, oh, well, it's everywhere. So then what you do is you start imagining that feeling as like some kind of an object or some kind of a, a thing that can move because it can. And so, but you imagine it in a physical feeling. So you imagine it all traveling to one location. It's all traveling to one location. And it can travel anywhere you want, but it's all traveling. It's collecting. And what you'll notice a lot of times as people start to feel sick, start to get headaches, start to, and you're thinking, why would I want to do this? Well, you imagine it all gathering into one location and as it gathers, it's building. So f for my, one of the persons I worked with is they imagine it gathering in their stomach. It was just gathering in their stomach. And what was interesting as I was watching them do this, they're like, oh, oh, this hurts. <coughs> and it just, you could see the pain in their, in their face and they're gathering in their stomach and they're so, oh, this hurts. Oh, this really hurts. And I said, okay. Now the next thing is identify it in the sense of, you know, what does it look like? Is it round? Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it squishy? Is it bubbly? You know, whatever. Identify what it looks like. Then identify any other characteristics. And the other characteristics may be like it's bumpy. It's smooth, it's cold, it's hot, it's, you know, whatever other characteristics it is, it may have. And after you've done that, then you close your eyes and you breathe. And you breathe into that area. You don't try to fight it. You don't try to force it. You're not trying to uh, crush, kill, destroy it. You're just breathing into it. You're sending it love. You're literally sending that ache, that pain, love. And you're just going to take a deep breath. And as you breathe, you're breathing into that area that is creating the pain or the discomfort or the emotion. And as you breathe into it, you're imagining it kind of gathering around it. It's just love, just, just caressing it. And then it's coming up and it's lifting it. 
and it's lifting it up out of you and it comes up and you'll start to notice that with another person, the same person as they were moving it, it got stuck in their throat and they were, and it was making it difficult for them to, to, to swallow. It was kind of choking them because it is an emotion. It, it's, it's a real thing. And so as it's coming up, you just keep sending it love. And what happens, oh, I apologize, I forgot one step in here. Identify, first, you need to identify level of pain or discomfort from a one to 10. Then you do these other steps so far. I apologize about that. And so you, you send it love, and as it's coming up, you just keep sending it. You follow it wherever it's at. You don't, don't try to fight it. Just, just follow it. You're thinking about it. You're sending it love. You're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. And a lot of times people, as they breathe in, I'll have them say release as they're breathing out. In through their nose, out through the mouth, saying release, release. Release, release, release. And as you do this, really what you notice is whatever your pain level was before, it actually starts to go down. And I've, I've seen people go from like a 6 to a 2 or a 5 to a, a 1 or a 0. I mean, I've literally watched this as I've been working with people that it leaves their body. It completely leaves their body. Well, as you're breathing and you're sending it love, one of the things we're sending it love for is that we have emotion. It's kind of like our, our speedometer. You know, you, you know how far and how fast you're going if your emotions are good or not. And so, as you breathe into it, and as you are sending it love, and you are being grateful for having emotions and feelings, it actually starts to leave. The, the negative emotions start to leave. They kind of break down. And they just start to leave the body. And just like you gathered all that emotion into one area like this, and you've moved it around now, you can see that it actually has left the body. And sometimes you need to do this for a while. Sometimes it could be just a couple minutes. It's really, the more you do it, the better it is. And then what you start doing is looking for that emotion, looking to see if you have an emotion in your body. And you do this by saying, I am feeling, and then you choose an emotion. I am feeling frustrated. And then you see, okay, do I have any frustration in me? Similar to when we do the right and burn, you're searching. Well, you just start gathering it together, wherever it's at. And it will start in one location, and you will identify it in that location. And then it will travel around the body. And as it travels around the body, you're just following it until it finally releases and lets you go, lets go. That's the power of this exercise. And it works. I've seen it happen. I've seen it benefit people so many times. It's a little harder to do it by yourself. But I thought I would teach it because there's going to be some of you that can do this as it is right now. You don't need somebody to guide you through it if you just do it yourself. And this is, is it. Identify the level of pain. Then gather it, it. Look throughout your body to see if that emotion is anywhere else. And then gather it together into one area, one location. Then you, you ID, identify the look, its shape, its color, its size, all that. And then the, any additional characteristics. It's cold, it's hot. Then you close your eyes and you send it love. You breathe in, sending it love, and you breathe out, releasing it. In, out. 
And then the fifth and final step is just be grateful. Just be grateful because gratitude is the highest form of energy that we can possess. And when we are extremely grateful, we increase our energy, which helps us to move our emotions even more. Take the time today to just sit down, even just set a timer for five minutes and see if you can move even a little bit of emotions. And if you see an emotion and it is so big that you're just like, I don't even want to try to deal with that, do a little piece of it. It could be like in your toe. And you can just imagine it coming up and traveling up out of you. Just that little piece. Break it down into pieces then if that's what you need to do. You're amazing. Believe it. Have a fantastic day.